Hey guys, Mr. Mike's 21. This uh, doesn't look like Reventuli Coast, but I started off here. I just wanted to head in and grab a bunch of equipment for the new map before I jumped in. And obviously, the campaign will automatically start in single player. I didn't want to lose the intro. So, I'll go over real quick what I've got. I've decided not to run any of the waterfowl calls yet. I've just got basically our land based call. So I got the Hazel Grouse Caller, Jackrabbit, Deer Bleat, Distress, and Moose Call. I should check and see if the Raccoon Dogs have a caller. I don't think they did. No, no, they did not. And I'm real quick just gonna tab out because I want to make sure that my audio is recording before we go in. It is recording. Splendid. Oh, uh, it's gonna fight me to get in the window, isn't it? It doesn't want to switch back to full screen. Come on. I don't know why. It's not switching to full screen. It's staying in windowed. There we... Nope. Nope. Okay. I don't know why. Oop. My screen's all black. No, it will not go back to full screen. Why won't it stay in full screen? Ah, there we go. Might have discovered a new glitch. Um, it did also reset my reticle, which I removed. It had the nice big crosshair right in the center of my screen again. But let's go ahead. And hopefully my air conditioner and everything isn't too loud got our northern lights Hello, hello, hello. I'm very happy to see you, my friend. <laughs> How are you? Uh, tired from the trip? Don't worry. We have all the time in the world to enjoy the sights and sounds. You have chosen a perfect place for a vacation. I will show you a side of Finland that not many people know about. We might not know each other yet, but I think we will become great friends during your time here. <laughs> You were dropped off at the main camping site. This place is oh, usually full okay. of tourists and campers, but it's hunting season now, so we should have the reserve to ourselves. Go ahead and open the outpost. Wow, they just hand this to you. I'm used to having to at least walk around a little first. But look at this, it's like a whole town. I was really starting to get that vibe with the last reserve. They were just like setting up towns. This is... really nice. I have prepared a cabin for you. 
You can leave your luggage and rest before we head out. Gotta go to my private lodge. Oh my god. It's a car. And look at that. Right off the bat. We got Goldeneye going into land. We got Canada geese flying overhead. Now, I'm not going to focus necessarily on shooting everything in a campaign playthrough. But if Surprise! I get a shot... I baked you a little welcome pastry. Go ahead and try one. Wait, ah! Oh, actual food, okay. Do you like it? They're called Runeberin Tortu. Huh. <laughs> what the heck? Raspberry jam, okay. <laughs> I know. I can't stop stuffing my face either. <laughs> They're so delicious. I love them. <laughs> Human okay. creativity is powerful, don't you think? How can something so tasty be made from a little bit of butter, sugar, and flour? We have a lot of good things to eat in Finland. Or as we say, Suomi. I hope you get a chance to try some of our regional foods. You know, I'm always happy to get visitors. And I know you're eager to help around the reserve, but no worries here. It won't be needed. You can just relax and enjoy your vacation. Have you made any plans on what you want to do here? Uh, besides hunting, of course. Uh, let me tell you, in case you haven't made any plans, I have a little idea for you. We are going to see, touch and taste everything that Revotuli Coast has to offer. But every journey starts with a step. The blue trailhead over there, that is where our trek begins. Now head to the start of the trail. I'll go there in a second. I want to check this out. I swear those golden eye came into land. Look at these boats. Where, where on the map are we? We're... Ah, pretty much smack dab center. Oh. Am I back? Okay. I guess we'll hit the trailhead. I don't like him saying we don't have to fix anything. That's the, honestly, I really like the campaigns of fixing things in this game. Oh boy. Now, I didn't see any of these in the... Well, that was an easy spot. I'm gunning for that rock ptarmigan. Now, I think the ptarmigans need to be shot in the air. I could shoot that probably with 22 and just find out, but... No, it sounds like they're spooked. Yeah, they're spooked anyway, so... Also, why is Upland Game spooking so far away? Doesn't matter, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna slip one through those trees, probably about 100 yards, with the 22, and, uh...
Don't know why that first shot didn't hit. We'll find out about grounded scores. I hereby proclaim the guided tour begins. So our little plan is this. We are going to walk along the blue trail. A nice and brisk walk that will take us through the central part of the reserve. I will be your personal guide, and during the walk I will tell you about worthwhile sites and activities we have here. The path is marked by signs, and there is a trail you can follow. But I will also mark the path on your hunter mate if you get lost. Don't worry, be happy my friend. You know, I recorded a little tune for this occasion. I put in a mouth harp and drum... Uh, ah, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Oiva Reijo Ikävalko, and I'm the warden here at Revontuli Coast. I've been the warden for about 20 years, which is pretty long considering I'm only about 40 years old. <laughs> Even earlier than that, I was the assistant warden. It's because I like it very much here. It's my hobby, and my therapy. I can think better when I'm walking in nature. You know, people watch TV show marathons. I walk marathons in the woods and along the coast. It's the same thing for me. But I also watch TV marathons. I live with okay. my avopolism. Oh. Um, I'm not sure what the English word is for that. Uh, partner, maybe. Her name is Pirjo, and we have three kids together. Lucas. Matti and Helena. You know, in time of test, family is best. We also have so a little dog, grounded. a Rottweiler. Hmm, what more would be interesting for you to know about me? Oh yes, I love music and instruments, of course. Strangely, I don't really listen to music that much, but I collect instruments and play them. But I think my music is pretty good. Um, well, <laughs> yes, pretty good is probably right. Isn't it interesting that almost every situation, mood or feeling can be framed by a song or melody? I'm very jealous of great musicians. They have such honest expression at their fingertips. If math is the language of the universe, then music has to be the language of people and emotion. And sometimes I talk a lot. The tune I wrote, uh, let me play it for you. I'm listening to birds. What do you think? I think I lost your time again. There we go. Ah, and it's a beautiful male rock arm again. Throw that right in the bag. I usually hate the night, but, uh,. Maybe the point's going to be to see the northern lights. Now, I don't know this. Is bird hunting a huge thing in Finland? Like, I know they shoot a lot of grouse, but I always kind of associate them with, like, moose.
You know what I just realized? I don't have a gun to shoot most with. I think I can use the 7 mag, probably. I'll have to pick up the 338. It's right there. Come on, boy. Give me a little bit of a better angle. I'm using a low power gun. I have no idea if the 7 mil can punch the, into his neck. 338, this wouldn't be a problem, but. Oh, well, that worked out pretty well. I don't know if he was about to charge me. That also answers the question that 7 mil can punch through a neck. That's, that's not a bad first moose to shoot here. It looks like they gave him some texture, love. That's awesome. I'll take that. first practical stop of the tour. You should scout the area with the lookout tower. You might find something you want to check out later. During the trek, if you see anything that interests you, animal tracks or something else, feel free to pursue that and come back to the trail when you want. It's your vacation. You're the boss. Oh, look at that moon. It's like on fire. I, I don't see northern lights. Assuming there's a certain part of the reserve you need to be in to actually see it. Ah, yes. Here we have Revontuli Coast. Beautiful trees, lakes, and ideas in every direction. It is a small country with a very big heart. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. Oh, what do we got here? We got tundra bean geese. I bet I can take that with a shotgun right now. That was a hit. <laughs> that was such a stupid shot, but... <laughs> Did I... Just wing him? What the heck happened here? I am really not liking how dark it is. You really can't enjoy much. So we're gonna just... Take a quick nap. Start bright and early. And I'm going 
go bring out my oh maybe I can get away with just a small where'd it go oh come on you're killing me it's gonna be so easy to see I do too. Just to get back to where we were, we're gonna. I mean, we could just take one of these cars. Wait a second, what? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. They thought this out. Is this a different type of car or is it? Nope, same thing. Oh, that's so stupid. I love it. This good spot to get off, and why is my backpack the wrong color and inside me? Alrighty. I'm hoping there's some sort of real missions here and it's not entirely a tour. Like maybe something's gonna go sideways. We are further from the camping grounds. The lakes to the south are great to hunt waterfowl. Lucas, my oldest son, likes waterfowl hunting very much. So we wake up early when the weather is still calm and go out. We have a few favorite lakes we visit. Knowing the birds is very important to have a good catch. They all group and fly differently, so I recommend you take your time to identify them before the shooting starts. I don't hunt as much as I used to, but I'm very close friends with the local hunters. I used to hunt a lot when I was younger, but with time I've come to enjoy the reserve management side of things, making sure the needs of all the animals and plants are met. When a hunter tells me they've harvested a high-scoring animal, I know it's thanks to Mama Nature and a little thanks to Papa Oiva. <laughs> but you know, mostly I don't need to do much. I'm just very thankful. I love this place. It's always a good sentiment. Are you starting to get itchy? The Nordic region has more mosquitoes than you might be used to. That's why the Vikings tried to leave all the time. The many bodies of water are a breeding ground for mosquitoes. 
You know, most people love to hear birds sing. I wonder if there's anybody out there who loves the buzz of mosquitoes. Like a mosquito buzz musician person. Uh, maybe I should record some mosquito sounds. Hmm. Uh, release something on the internet. Yeah, it's hard to like them, but they have their role in the ecosystem, even if it's not very obvious to us humans. Well, I'm kind of just... Oh... Those are birds. I think you can shoot grass on the ground, so that's not that huge of a deal. You know, I was really not looking forward to this reserve bird hunting. <laughs> but there's something fun, just, oh. It is a bird hunter in real life, it just kind of gives me a little tingles. And you got straight capped, girl, but look at that model. They, remi they remind me a lot of the ruffed grouse that we have here. They're very small, they have that like same kind of fanning in the tail. I left some mosquito repellent you can use at a camp near here. Okay, we're going to another camp. Maybe. Poor ATV's just gonna get forgotten. Oh, it shouldn't have a sense of smell if this is realistic, so... Oh, no, wrong one. Just in case, I'll spray myself down. And sense they can be... Nope, I'm not gonna have a chance to grab them. They're flying. Where though? What in the world, dude? You don't even see them. Hoping to spot that one far enough out and put a bullet in it. No, but I figure we're not going to get a shot at them. Caper Kaylee's and they were 100% scared by me walking through here. So I'm switching right out to the 22 Hornet. You right down here? No. Alright, black grouse, that's cool. They're technically black grouse, eastern capercaillie, so they're still capercaillie, right? But... They're not the capercaillie. I don't know these are old, but they can't be that old. Oh my god, that's one. I don't have my shotgun. No!
Come here, you big log. Oh, it's just so hard to spot them. If I had a shotgun, that would have been it. I don't know if I'm going to get another flush on that. I'm not entirely sure where he went off to. Alright, you win this round. Get over, Fallon. There you go. No more new itching. Only old itching. Ah, I can't believe I missed that caper, Kaylee. our own spin on the big five challenge, but we call ours Sekalaiset 19. Sounds exciting, right? <laughs> well, that's because you don't speak Finnish. It translates to Miscellaneous 19. A nice name for a hunting challenge, you know? Feel free to join in at your own tempo. The competition is basically to snag a gold or better of every animal in the reserve. And if you get tired of shooting and would rather just walk around and appreciate nature through the lens of an observer, we also have a local photo competition. Feel free to take part. I forget that photos are even a thing in this. <laughs> they had like photo missions in the first of the original two maps and then never touched them again. Look both ways. It's really surprisingly pleasurable just to walk a hiking trail and no not again okay I'm gonna put this on eight this is the animal I am single-handedly most excited for I've also just... marked out the highest point in the reserve I'm up there at least once a month it's the perfect getaway when I want to have a mandate with myself. I'll pack my favorite cheeses, some savory pastries, and maybe a beverage, and head out there to survey the lands under my care. A spiritual power trip, really. <laughs> I'm not losing this cape to If I see him, he's gonna die. Such a nice open area. Not really sure how their fleeing works. If it would have taken flight or if I could have just wandered off. I could have got the mechanic with them perching in the trees working. That would have just been 
made this so much harder, but... Where are you at, little guy? You want a warning call again? So he was right around here. Oh, he's up behind us now. Wait, do they seriously? I thought you could... Let's just do this. That's what we call sky busting. <laughs> Either that cape or Kaylee. Okay. I'm playing game hunting is gonna be a challenge. Whereas before we could just kinda just run up to a group of pheasants and they sit there and then flush. The quail were a little more challenging just because of their size. The Cape Kaylee are huge, but I can't even worth noting, in reality, I don't think any of these birds would flush nearly as easily as this game's making them. I mean, it's usually probably about, it's the most realistic hunting game you can get, but as someone who's literally had to stomp on birds to get them to flush, or not on them, but on like the brush they're in, doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. But then again, I have never hunted Caper Kaylee or Hazel Grouse. to know my top three cured meats of all time? <laughs> Gravilohi, which is cured salmon, and um, kuivaliha, or any jerky, 
and Yamon Iberico. Oh. Uh, you know, Iberico is really nice, uh, but I don't eat it very often, so maybe it's not good to have it on my top list. I'll change Iberico to bacon. <laughs> bacon always works. All right, just gonna casually walk off a cliff. These lakes and streams have salmon, uh, pike, perch, uh, rainbow trout, and how do you say this fish, um, uh, kuha? Uh, it's like the mix of the pike and perch. Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes, thunder. Finland is really top of the notch for fishing. I've got a few pikes in the lake you're walking past right now. Um, they were like 14 kilos or 30 pounds. It could have been the same one since I always release the pike we catch. I don't know about you, but I think they are not very good to eat. My kids prefer salmon, so we usually fish for that when looking for Tuesday dinner. For the fish and chips person, uh, there is also cod out in the archipelago or other whitefish like halibut and flounder. You should come by the house. Uh, I'll cook fish and chips. I, I think you will like my batter. I use a secret ingredient in it. Uh, because you know, you have to respect the batter for good fish and chips. Second, the angler map confirmed. Maybe, that's interesting. A lot of talk about fishing and fish species. Obviously, this isn't where uh, the original the first map's going to come out, but and they did only say one reserve. But maybe this does hint at a European reserve, either closely following or maybe it will come out. Surprised to not see some ducks. A moose does make pretty good sense in this location. I'm going to use her to kind of figure out how stuff is spooking. I'm running along. Alright, she caught me like buck twenty-five. Now what if I just now what if I go long? I'm going to cut through the woods. Alright, maybe we can get an Eastern Capercaillie, Black Grouse. Is that it right there? Yep. And it's gonna fly in the opposite direction of us. Well. There was an attempt. Here we are, and just in time for a break. We are building a new sauna out here. 
not a lot of things beat having a nice sauna bath close to a lake. Have you ever had the opportunity to try a sauna? If not, there is no better place than here. I can't begin to tell you how much I love a sauna. Not just because it's relaxing, but I have so many memories from my childhood. <laughs> I remember my brothers and I having snowball fights during our sauna breaks. The last time we had a snowball fight, I remember I slipped on an icy patch and fractured my tailbone. I think I was uh, eight years old. There are just so many good things about the sauna. Uh, the nakedness, uh, the connection to nature, and how it allows you to center yourself, and how sacred that is. I don't know who said it, uh, but it truly is a church of nature. I actually proposed to my partner after a sauna. She said no, uh, but somehow we ended up together anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Guess the nakedness helped. If you feel like trying it out, go ahead. I've marked the location on your hunter mate. Uh, let's see. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. Not that. Try the sauna. Okay. I think it's going to be a good spot to break it off, too. So I'm just going to continue recording because I'm stuck home today, um, unfortunately, but it kind of works out. Oh, we're going to go for redemption first. Man, I've got a long sight line. And a 22 Hornet. Where are you at? Oh, was that something flying? I'll walk over there real quick and find out. Oh, hi. Well, uh... I don't know, remember what diamond starts at for moose, but that was a pretty dang big moose. And he's pretty downwind of us. He didn't spook too hard. Oh, you fly fast.
unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna get a shot at that moose. Oh. Hello. But we'll go ahead and break it off there. So I'll pick, I'm gonna pick up right in the same spot. I'm just gonna cut the recording. <laughs>